again. My name is Russell Bobbitt. I'm a property master. I am head of props at Marvel. I've been responsible for some very iconic props like Captain America's shield. That thing does not obey the laws of physics at all. And Mjolnir, Thor's hammer. And the phaser from Star Trek. So a prop master's job is to provide anything that the actor touches in a film. Could be eyeglasses or pens or could be a Zippo lighter. The right prop provides support for a story and to a character. Even the smallest thing on a set, like a lighter, could become a very iconic prop. This style of lighter was a character prop for Drew Barrymore in Charlie's Angels. Don't take my lighter. It was a prop that she really studied that was on her person always. Some props I don't even know are gonna become really big props. Kevin Feige, the head of Marvel, came to me when I was shooting Thor 1, and he said to me, hey, we're gonna need a little gauntlet in the background of a shot. And so I made this thing, and I had no idea that one day the Infinity Gauntlet would have its own movie. The most challenging scene that I've worked on is the cave scene in Iron Man 1, where Robert Downey Jr. had to create his first arc reactor. You don't need this. And so I taught him how wiring works, and he soldered, and we had these extreme close-up shots, and it really defined Iron Man in that moment. There's some very iconic lighters that have been in various films. This is a style of lighter that was used in Indiana Jones. My lucky charm. Zippo designed this custom for Ocean's 13, and they used this to trigger the die which took down the casino. I need you to acknowledge that it wasn't just a prop for prop's sake, it worked. In Die Hard, Bruce Willis uses a Zippo lighter through the ducks. Come on to the coast, we get together, have a few laughs. When it comes to choosing a lighter for a character, a Zippo lighter fits the bill. It immediately tells the audience that a character is cool, self-reliant, maybe even a bit of a rebel. In Hocus Pocus, Max wants to be cool, so we taught him the flick open. He practiced it all day and night, every day. I summon the burning rain of death. <laughs> I feel very fortunate in my career. I've had the pleasure of working on so many great films, and when the right prop meets the right character in the right scene, there's nothing better.